Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your server to the 1.15 update without having to wipe or replacing any of your already existing files on the server. Now to get started, you're going to want to open the link found in the description of my video, which will have all the code necessary that we need to add for today's video with comments right above each code as to either add or replace and also the file name. Now also the XML validator tool is very important. Uh, there's also going to be a link for it down in the uh, description below. So make sure you guys open that as well. Now we're going to get started by updating my good friend's uh, server Badlands. Big shout out to Agent uh, for uh, being a very uh, genuine friend of mine and allowing me to do this to his server. Now we'll go on to the file browser of the server obviously as always. Daisy PS Missions. If you're Xbox it'll say Daisy Xbox Missions. Uh, Daisy Offline Chernoris Plus if you're on the Chernoris map but if you're on Livonia there should be another file right below that says Daisy Offline Enoch which is for Livonia. Now once you're in the missions uh, file we're going to go ahead and start off with the types.xml. We're going to go ahead and grab all of the new entries for the types.xml, which is found in the database folder of your server. Types.xml. Just go ahead and drop all of the new code at the very top of the file and always just in case always validate your XML if there is an issue with your code it'll instantly tell you that the file is invalid and you can just control Z to fix it now since the types.xml is sorted we'll save the changes for that file the next file we're going to have to mess with is the events.xml and it's also going to be adding new entries, the zombies, uh, infected zombies, and also the static Santa crash, which is a new Christmas event. Now keep in mind, the active is set to zero, but if you wish to have this event triggered on your server, you're going to want to set the active to one. Now, one more time, we're going to go ahead and validate this file as well. There you go, valid XML. Since it's valid, just save changes. Now, back to my paste bin link, event spawns Chernoris. Now this is for the Chernoris map. We're gonna go ahead and add that as well. To the CFG event spawns.xml file again at the very top and again as always validate your file to make sure it's all good now we're done with the cfg events.xml now if you're on livonia these are the uh, coordinates you're going to want to have for your cfg events.xml file now the random presets has new entries we're going to go ahead, grab the CFG randoms, uh, random presets file, drop that onto the validator, and then add all of these new entries that put loot in your uh, Christmas uh, gift boxes. Now, you could just drop this literally anywhere so long as you're not dropping it on the middle of another code. So once that is done, we're going to go ahead and paste that back up. And there's going to be adding to the spawnable types. Adding to the spawnable types. this code 
So just again, pretty much drop this anywhere. This is responsible for giving attachments to your AUG, the new weapon. Now if you want it to have mags and attachments, just go ahead and make the attachment chance to 1. That way any AUG found on your server will always have uh, these attachments on it. Now there is replacing entries for the gift boxes. Control F will find you the gift boxes that are already there. So you're gonna wanna just go ahead grab all of these improved entries for the gift boxes and then just drop them on the old ones. Looks large. Alrighty. That is about it for all the entries needed. Sweet. And now we're done with the CFG spawnable types file as well. We're going to save the changes on that. Now, for this entry, there is a high possibility your map group proto is also locked. So we're just going to quickly show you the correct method to edit that file. Uh, so you're going to want to download your map group proto if it's locked like this. And once you download it, open it, go ahead, grab the entry for the map group proto. Literally, just like I said, drop it anywhere in between an end tag and a start tag. Copy, paste it onto the validator to make sure you've done it correctly. Save changes onto the same folder, uh, onto the same file, the map group proto that you grabbed. And now delete the one that's already on your server. Once that is deleted, upload a file, the one you edited. And then that's it. You're pretty much set. All of your XML is updated to 1.15 and you should be having all the new stuff on your server. Now the very last thing we're going to do for this server is going to be allowing the build anywhere mod, which is right here, base building data. What we're going to want to do, this is a toggle on and off, so disable, colliding, box check, and so on. We're just going to go ahead, disable all of these to allow the build anywhere mod. By toggling it to on. Or obviously you guys can leave some turned off. I'll have a definition for each line on my Discord, uh, which you guys can uh, uh, join also uh, through the description, uh, uh, the link found on the description, and uh, you guys can pretty much uh, use any of these codes absolutely for free. I have some really cool stuff you guys can use, a method to spawn in a sea chest, NPCs, spawn a building using the JSON file. And I'll be adding a lot more things onto my Discord, so uh, do make sure that you guys join the Discord and stay up to date on what I'm doing and what new things are being added to DayZ and so on. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please like and subscribe for more DayZ related content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.